Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And a couple uh, weeks ago, I made a video about this puzzle and puzzle generator that was linked to that. And I mentioned in the video that you could take out the kerf because these things are going to cut in the, the kerf is the thickness of the laser beam. And it's going to take that out and the puzzle is not going to fit together tight. And it all depends. I mean, if you want to play with the puzzle and put it together back and forth, you really want it a little bit loose. You don't want it tight. But if you're going to, you know, make different species of wood. So I made a five by five. So there's 25 squares. And if you made, you know, different species of wood and you were going to glue it back together and you wanted it tight, then you could do this little trick right here. Uh, my puzzle is 10 by 10. So I'm going to set my nudge factor on 12. And I'm just going to take the smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in the top row and move it over. And then if that way we have individual puzzle pieces, I'm going to left click, right click. It is a hairline. I'm going to go ahead and hold down the control button and move that one out of the way a little bit. And then I'm going to go open windows, dockers, align and distribute. And I'm going to align them. So I've got some separation between them. So I can actually see my uh, contour working. So now I'm going to go to effects and go to contour. I'm going to contour in red to the outside 0 0.003. It's just a little bit of a contour, but it's probably going to take up the curve. You can try, you know, I wouldn't do a whole puzzles before I tried it. You know, I would do both these and then break them apart. Okay, let's just do all five of them and then I'll show you how to get rid of the, the contour. So all you have to do is click on the piece and you could quite possibly even group these together, but it, it's not gonna really help you much time in time. Now, how do you get the contours apart? Select them all, go to object, break the 10 objects apart. And then if you grab in the center, you know what, let's just make the nudge factor like two inches now. Grab in the center, nudge it down. This is your bigger contour. You know, this is the original piece. Let's go down a little bit more. So this is the original piece and these are gonna be a little tighter. One way you can always look at that, this one's kind of straight up and down. If you look at my tall measurement, 2.537, 2.351, not much difference, but a lot of difference when you're taking out the curve. So if you cut it out all together, this puzzle generator is actually pretty cool because of the fact that it's only gonna cut it one time, but there's no way to really add this extra curve. And like I said, I would cut out five pieces and then see if, see if they don't fit together. Let's make this one black just so we can see the difference. And then I'm gonna grab that node right there and have it snap to that. You'll never really know till you uh, do this you know, test and, and make sure it fits. You'll never really know, you know, because every laser beam is a little different. Every brand's a little different. Even your focus can make it different. I've done from 0 .003 to 0 .001 you know, you want to, you know, you know, if it's not tight enough, you can go to 0 0.004. But that's how you could do it. And then what I was saying, let's change this one back to red. So there's your new pieces. You can delete these old pieces. And, you know, you could make the first one out of a, um, like a black wood, make the second one out of a yellow wood, Make the third one out of a red wood, uh, blue wood, you know, especially if you're going to paint these. Now, if you're going to paint them, there's probably no reason to make the kerf better or bigger because uh, let's say you cut this out of plywood. Uh, I would suggest coating it with primer. And then by the time you put on primer and a coat of paint, they're going to fit together tight without doing this. But that somebody asked, so I thought I'd kind of tell that off. And it's really pretty easy concept. Once you've got 
you know, a couple of pieces. Now, one other thing, if you were going to put this inside this framework, you know, you could take, let's take, let's say you're going to take it inside of somewhere. Let's hit P, put it in the middle of the page, put that in the middle of the page. Let's get rid of these pieces. And what you could do to make your framework is that is your new frame to put all the pieces in. And then you left click, right click. And you don't have to contour this because each piece is contoured out. So maybe that's what I would do is take my five pieces and see if they don't fit in there without being too tight. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.